The test you're about to see illustrates the danger of using poly pallets and sumps in a potentially flammable environment. The demonstration shows a liquid fire started outside of two two drum pallets, one poly and one steel. For this demonstration, the drums were filled with water and the bunghole covers removed to release any pressure from the rapidly increasing temperature of the water. Secondary containment pallets and sumps are designed to capture chemical leaks and spills from drums and totes. These products are typically constructed of steel, painted, galvanized, or stainless, or polyethylene. Polyethylene products are recommended for acids and corrosives due to those chemicals' incompatibility with steel, but, quite often, they are used by companies as a catch-all for storing any chemical because of their attractive price point. As you can see, the kerosene has been ignited and both pallets are quickly engulfed in flames. Please note the elapsed time as the demonstration continues. Even if your facility is equipped with sprinklers, would the heat of the fire activate them quickly enough to save the poly pallet? That obviously depends on the flame's temperature and the height of the sprinklers, but you'll see how quickly the fire takes its toll. In just over a minute, the poly pallet has failed, and whatever chemical has spilled creates an added environmental hazard and, potentially, significant fines and cleanup costs. Had the drums been filled with a flammable chemical, you can imagine how a bad situation could quickly turn catastrophic. The steel pallet is still upright and holding the drums. Poly sumps and pallets are an important part of your environmental health and safety efforts, but they should be used only when chemical compatibility issues dictate. Steel, whether painted, galvanized, or stainless, is the preferred choice in any industrial environment due to its superior durability and, as you've just witnessed, its ability to hold up in flammable environments.